Today, we climb Scaffold Pike, England's tallest peak. As our first day of hiking in England, it set the stage beautifully and got us extra excited for days to come in the Lake District. Even the prospect of having to drive out of the Wassail area on the crazy roads we'd experienced the previous night couldn't spoil our great spirits. Driving down this road last night at 11.30 in the dark was interesting. And believe it or not, even at that hour, it was very busy. So getting here was a major adventure. Two-way traffic, hikers, sheep and cows, all on the road. And a very energetic pair. And we couldn't see any of this. So we're, you know, nervous driving on that road, thinking, should we just turn around? And then we woke up this morning and we're in like this wonderland full of sheep and lambs and full of hikers. We are in the Lake District of England and today we're going to be traveling Scaffold Pike, which is the tallest mountain in England. Gate number one. Wow. So it's about a quarter of a mile to get to the trailhead from the uh, Wastel Head Inn. We have been blessed today with the world's most amazing weather. We've gone about a 20th of a mile. Stop to take pictures of sheep, who I believe are gonna be our near constant companions today. It was warmer and drier here than usual, and that played in our favor because the rocks weren't slippery, which really helped on the way down. See the Wastel head in down there? The stream that runs right behind it. Lake here. Almost fell. And uh, the path that we're on. That's our third gate. This, this year's trails a little more uh, a little more country a little more nature instead of counting cats this year we're counting gates that was something we learned on the pilgrim way gates are the thing to count that's our third gate just a little bit we probably have not are you doing the three peak challenge? Yes, we are. Good luck. Thank you, Izzy. There is a thing called the three peak challenge in the UK where you climb Ben Nevis, Scaffold Pike, and Mount Snowden in a 24 hour period. And that 24 hour period includes getting from one to the other. So, the time it takes you to climb them is important. That's probably one reason why there were people driving around all night um, on these crazy one lane roads. There are probably three peak challengers. So far the trail is super good, easy to follow. Definitely rocky if you don't like rocky trails, this wouldn't be for you. Molly and I are both wearing hiking boots today because it's rocky and we need to protect our ankles. We got a lot of hiking left to do. Pablo's going with uh, hiking shoes. So far I'd say 
the trail has been very easily managed. Wow. attracted bees so I'm gonna get moving when you get weather like this you get a lot of people on the trail it's okay though it's not bothering us not yet anyway there's a show-off sheep right there right in the middle nice huh we're at about a mile and a half into the trail this section has been a lot more like rocky steps. So, still going up, you know. Footing is pretty easy though in this area. I think this part will be easy to get down. Molly and I have been walking for a week already, doing the Camino and Glaze. This is Pablo's first day of hills. It takes a few days to get more used to it. I think we're almost that way. It's deep. It gives you a feel for how steep it is. Really fun uh, climb. I don't know how fun are we going down. But oh, we don't have to hurry. We're at 1.84 miles, about uh, 1,600 feet of altitude. So a little over uh, 500 meters so far. So what's up front is a lot higher than this. And since we're call, cro, climbing the tallest mountain in England, I guess we're going at least that high. We are curious how they got these bags of huge rocks up here. There's no way they carried that. Oh, no. I'm not gonna lie. This is more fun than I've had in a while. <laughs> this is a good time. Good yeah, I mean, it's... It like Can I get around? Yeah. I'm sweating. I'm breathing hard. But this is awesome. We're at the top of that section. That was point two earlier. Tons of sheep up here. And quite a few folks. So it looks like we're gonna go up this kind of easier incline and then we're gonna go up on a trail behind these guys to get to the top. I don't know if that one over there is the tallest or if it's one of these. It's kind of hard to get a very good perspective when you're up here. But I think it will tell us when we're there somehow. Note to self, these little watermelon gummies. Absolutely wonderful. We're high. But we're not at the highest. It's getting noticeably cooler and breezier up here. Feels really good. The top part is just super rocky. Instead of a trail, you're pretty much just looking for a flat spot. I mean, there is a trail. Like this little part is a clearer trail. A lot of it's just kind of looking for flat spots among the rocks to put your feet. Fairly steep up here. I don't think this is the steepest section we've done. We think that area where people are kind of congregating is probably it. 
I'm not certain. I think so. Look at the views. Goodness. Oh, this is it. It's up there. So that's not the tallest. That's the tallest. Wow. before we head down and some water bring a lot of water when you come we brought a bottle but it wasn't enough it's not enough trek down at about noon so it took us a little over two and a half hours to get up there stayed at the top for a little while now we're heading down it's a little chilly and windy up here so we don't want to get too cold before we start moving again I'll tell you, today's hike has made me more exciting, excited than ever about the coast to coast. Because, man, it's pretty up here. Walking down on this stuff takes total and complete concentration. What kind of dog is this? Sprocker Spaniel. Stream. I can see our end down there. It's like a homing signal. Come have lunch. Today was a lot more climbing than we're used to, so Molly took me through a stretching routine before we finished up. This really helped and is something I wish we had done on the Inca Trail. As tall as all of these mountains are, we were taller than those today. We're just talking about, you know, the difficulty of this particular hike. It was pretty strenuous, but nothing. If you're in shape, you can do it. My legs were kind of turning to jelly there at the end of that downhill. Total time it, take, it took us uh, from about 9.15 in the morning, including stretching at the end, which we just did, and stop to take pictures and to catch our breath 
quite a bit. It's going to end up having taken us about five hours and 15 minutes. So those two are sharing the Sunday yes. roast, which looks amazing. Yes. And I am having a prawn and lemon sandwich, which also looks super good. I could not recommend this hike more. It ended up somewhere between six and a half and seven and a half miles. And while it was pretty steep, the footing was decent for probably five miles of the trail. The views were spectacular for the entire hike, even when we were still in the valley. If I had any tips, I would say to stay in the Wasdale Head Inn, both because it's beautiful and because it was very convenient to just start out the door. Pack a lot of water, because the hike is pretty much full sun and it's easy to get dehydrated. And be very careful on the way down. I think anyone in solid hiking shape could scale scaffold bike. This hike left us impossibly excited to begin the coast to coast. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.